Ken, you're messing up rule number two. All right. There you go. Hey, good afternoon. Um, Ken Collins from Andover. Um, over the last couple of weeks, NJDEP has gone around kind of fear-mongering to uh, the officials in Wharton, Mine Hill, Jefferson, and Mount Olive, um, trying to scare them into uh, being afraid of toxic gas emissions from Fenimore Landfill and trying to get them on their side to defend NJDEP's plan to cap the landfill and not remove the waste that's emitting toxic gases into Roxbury. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, meanwhile, they're also fighting Roxbury Township to keep them from getting samples um, from the landfill so they can find out what's actually in it. Um, and on behalf of the citizens of Roxbury, I'm here to ask you what's being hidden in Fenimore Landfill and that you don't want dug up and that you don't want found. And why, and why, won't, you why won't you get behind taking this waste out of the community because, because it will, instead of leaving it there where it's going to all get us. Very simply, I got your question. Because it will ruin Roxbury and 30 other communities in three different counties if you think that we're going to be able to excavate and truck out, which will take 18 to 24 months. This landfill just didn't start, you know, a year ago. This landfill has been there for decades. And things have been put in this landfill for decades. And the simplistic approach of some folks to say, well, just truck it out. What do you think is going to happen when you disturb that entire landfill and begin to truck it out? What do you think is going to happen to the gases that will be emitted from there? And all of the other damage that will be done, you will be evacuating not just Roxbury. You will be evacuating town after town after town in the area. Uh, and it will render those areas significantly compromised. And so I'm not doing it. But the problem, the problem, though, Governor, is that by leaving it there, you're leaving a problem. Right. And, you're, and you're not cleaning it up. You're leaving the waste there where it's going to continue to emit emissions no, not, as long as it stays there. If it, you have to truck that stuff out. You can't just leave it there. We can get into a debate about it, but let me just make it really plain and simple to you. I'm not doing it under any circumstances. That's criminal, well, in my opinion. Well, listen, you know what? You can say whatever you want to say about it, but the fact is, if you saw what would happen if we truck that stuff out over 18 to 24 months, you would be singing a significantly different tune than you're singing now. The landfill will be capped in an environmentally safe and protective way, and that's the way we're going to fix the problem that has been created over decades there. And we are not going to truck that stuff out. It's simply not going to happen, because what it would do to compromise the community of Roxbury and the surrounding communities is unthinkable. And so folks in Roxbury decades ago decided to permit that landfill and decided to permit what was put in there to be put in there. That's not true, Governor. It, Governor, the NJDEP sir, allowed C&D material sir, dumped in there. Sir, Since I'm, I'm Hurricane sure. Sandy, sir. the NJDEP allowed C&D material dumped within 150 feet of homes. We are, that is against the Highlands Act. We are not going to sit You and I are not going to sit here and get in a debate over it. You asked your question. I gave you my answer. If you don't like my answer, I, all I can do is give it to you. It doesn't mean that we're going to agree, and I'm not going to engage with 500 people here in a back-and-forth debate with you about this. I have the information I have. You have the beliefs you have. I'm the one who has to make these decisions. I've made the decision. The well, decision here, has been made. Reconsider your I, I, it's wrong. Right. I've heard your opinion, and I disagree with you. And that's the way it goes. Someone gets paid to make these decisions, um, and I'm the one who gets paid to make them. I didn't create this problem, but now I have to fix the problem. And I'm not going to fix the problem by creating bigger problems for numbers of municipalities surrounding Roxbury. This can be environmentally and appropriately fixed by capping the landfill in a permanent way, and that's what's going to be done. And I can't give you any other answer than the one I'm going to give you.